And now the Indian Embassy has confirmed the first Indian casualty in horrific quakes that hit Turkey last Monday, the body of an Indian man. Missing since the 6th of February, since that earthquake hit in Turkey, was pulled out from under the rubble of a hotel where he was staying. The man, Vijay Kumar, from the hill state of Uttarakhand, was working for a Bengaluru-based company and was on a business trip to Turkey, says the embassy. He was pulled out from under the rubble of a hotel in Malatya, a region severely hit by the devastating earthquake. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Turkey and Syria on Monday, flattening thousands of structures, trapping an unknown number of people and potentially impacting millions. The death count stands at 25,000 and is expected to rise earlier. <coughs> Tanushri, as you were reporting today, that news came in, that confirmation from the embassy, the first Indian casualty in this horrific uh, natural disaster. Uh, how exactly has the embassy identified or confirmed that this is Vijay Kumar who was missing and a search was on for him? It's an extremely unfortunate news, but the government just a short while back confirmed to us that the first uh, uh, Indian national casualty uh, uh, is confirmed now in the Turkey earthquake. And uh, to coming back to your question, Sarah, that uh, how, uh, how the embassy confirmed that this body is indeed of Vijay Kumar. Rescuers who were on the spot who recovered the body of Vijay Kumar sent pictures. Uh, and I'm, I'm extremely sorry to say these words can be triggering for a lot of viewers. So viewer discretion is advised. But his crushed body was uh, recovered from under the debris of a four-star hotel and pictures were taken by the rescuers and those pictures were sent to his family in Pori Garwal in Uttarakhand. Now the family identified the body of Vijay Kumar by a tattoo which was there on Kumar's left arm and that is how the body was identified as soon as the family gave nod and confirmed that it is indeed Vijay Kumar's uh, body. The rescuers immediately informed the Turkey ambassador and the Turkey government. And in fact, right now, Sarah, we have just spoken to the Turkey uh, the Indian ambassador to Turkey and he's confirmed that the process to send the mortal remains of Vijay Kumar has been expedited and his body will be sent back to uh, the area where he hailed from Pori Garwal in Uttarakhand in a All day right. or two. This is the first... Uh, you know, casualty of an Indian national in the Turkey earthquake. I'll quickly tell, tell you that Vijay Kumar uh, was an engineer. He came to Turkey on 23rd of January for a project and he was staying in the four-star hotel in Malatya where uh, the, the, when the first uh, earthquake of 7.8 magnitude struck Turkey on Monday early hours, the entire building completely collapsed. Now it means it, it's been more than four days and the family informed the government that uh, his son went to Turkey and now he's his number is not reachable and in fact he is missing and that's when the Indian um, the Indian government uh, immediately informed the Turkish government and the search was on. Yesterday we spoke to the ambassador and he confirmed that there were no casualties on the of any Indian national. Today, this morning, Vijay Kumar's uh, documents were uh, recovered from uh, the rubble, from the debris of the, of the, of the four-star hotel and just a short while back, an hour back almost, his body was recovered from the debris where he was all right trapped for the last five days sarah it's the sixth day of the rescue operation and you know with each passing second uh, the chances of you know rescuing people alive is getting slimmer i'm right now in the indian army hospital which has been set up in iskenderun in hatay province which is one of the worst affected regions in turkey and you can see right behind me that all efforts are being made by our men in uniform to save as many lives as possible in fact they are not even taking anybody to any kind of operation theater they are doing surgeries conducting surgeries on people wherever they can find space in this building which has now been turned into an indian army hospital and that's why they are uh, that's how they are saving as many lives uh, leg amputation surgery was conducted conducted successfully on a man who was under the debris of a multi-storied building for more than four days and you know i can show you the efforts being made by the Indian Army and of course other countries have also uh, stepped up their aid to Turkey. Let's really hope that more people can be saved but it's, a, it's honestly the harsh reality on the ground is that it's a race against time and now after six days the rescuers on the ground are telling us that all they expect to find are the dead bodies because it's next to impossible for anyone to be alive under the debris and rubble of huge buildings without food and water for more than five days. 
And under Operation Dost India has sent uh, search uh, uh, and uh, fresh earthquake relief material, rescue teams, mainly uh, teams of the National Disaster Response Force, the NDRF, a field hospital, materials, medicines and equipment to Turkey and Syria. Tanushri also visited the Indian field hospital where life-saving operations are taking place round the clock. What can you tell us more about how many surgeries have uh, you conducted? Uh, actually, we are doing only limb and life-saving surgeries. Uh, we are doing around 10 to 12 surgeries a day. So, uh, yesterday we did a major uh, surgery. A patient came with uh, uh, gangrenous uh, lower limb. Uh, uh, he was rescued after 96 hours of the uh, compressed out debris. So, you are saying that after 96 hours, someone was rescued and their whole leg was gangrene. Did they save their own health? Yes, they were resuscitated first, then they were resuscitated and then they were not amputated. So, they were infected in the body. Sir, how many people have come to the Indian Army hospital in Indian Army? Around daily, 200 to 300 patients are coming. So the Lieutenant Colonel is telling us that every day about 200 to 300 people are coming. He is just one of the persons who has just been recharged and discharged from the hospital and very sorry discharged from the Indian Army Hospital which has been set up and they are thanking the Indian government. Do you want to say something sir? Thank you. Hindistan. Teşekkür ediyoruz. Burada oldukları için. Thank you India. He said thank you India. Thank you for being here. Yanımızda da. We are so appreciating India. They are with us. Burada oldukları için çok mutluyuz. We are so happy they are here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So do you want to say something? Oh thank you. Feeling down. Are you feeling okay now? Yeah. İyi misin dede? İyi. İyi. Yeah. You're feeling. He's feeling very bad. Right after the medication that Indian army had. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So this is the brilliant, the fantastic team of uh, the Indian Army who have been conducting surgeries from day one in Turkey. They, India was one of the first countries to step up aid and uh, reach the ground. In fact, more than 150 NDRF personnel have reached the ground on uh, since day one. And uh, army units were also sent in. Medical teams were sent in. A uh, one army hospital has now been set up where uh, the army personnel are conducting surgery. Sir, if you can tell us a little more about what is the situation now? Do you feel like the death toll can increase? How many people do you feel like the situation can be saved? No, until now, the patient who comes in the first 48 hours, there is a lot of pressure on the patient. But now, after 4-5 days, there is mostly dead body. So now, very lucky person can be saved after this. सर हम लोग भी वही बात सोचने की कोशिश कर रहे थे कि जो छठा दिन आज है तो जितनी संभावना है बचने की the chances are getting slimmer by each second तो अब आप लोग के पास कैसे तरीके के पेशेंट आ रहे हैं कोई chances है कि उनको बचाया जा सके कितनी कितनी खराब स्थिति में लाया जा रहा है completely crushed अभी यहाँ पे एक तो temperature बहुत कम है patient चार पांच दिन से कुछ खाया नहीं है कोई दबा हुआ है तो उसको कम टेम्परेचर में हाइपोथर्मिया होने के चांस होते हैं और डिहाइड्रेशन हो जाता है तो उसको हम सबसे पहले रिससिटेट करते हैं उसको टेम्परेचर बढ़ाने के लिए थर्मामीटर हीटर्स का यूज करते हैं आईवी फ्लूड से रिससिटेट करते हैं बट अभी आप बोल रहे हैं कि जितने लोग हो सकता था बचने की संभावना है वो सेवेंटी टू आवर्स तक बच चुके हैं अब ज्यादा से ज्यादा डेड बॉडीज को रिकवर कर दिया जा रहा है जो कि बहुत एक खराब अनफॉर्चुनेट बात है एंड दैट्स प्रिसाइसली व्हाट वी वर रिपोर्टिंग ऑन दैट इट्स द सिक्स डे ऑफ द रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशंस इन टर्की एंड इवन द रेस्क्यूअर्स आर टेलिंग अस दैट द हार्श रियलिटी ऑन द ग्र Whoever could have been alive under the debris have already been rescued alive. Now, the harsh reality is that it's a race against time for the rescuers. Even the rescuers are doing a silent rescue work. They're asking all the people who are surrounding the building to be absolutely quiet so that they can hear any kind of voices which can be coming from under the rubble. I will again show you some of the visuals and I will tell the viewers who are watching this show right now on NDTV that the visuals we are going to show you can be triggering so viewers discretion is advised. He is a man who has just been brought into the Indian Army Hospital in Iskenderun in Hate province and I will try and 
आई विल ट्राई एंड टेक अ क्वेश्चन सर इनको इनको अभी हैज ही जस्ट बीन इम्पोर्टेंट इस सर अभी लाया गया है इनको नो नो नो इनको अभी लाया गया है अभी लाया गया अच्छा तो इनकी क्या स्थिति है बताओ डॉक्टर देख रहे हैं जी जी ओके अभी दबे हुए थे वहाँ से नीचे से अभी निकाल के इनको क्राइसिस इंजरी यहाँ यहाँ पे क्राइसिस इंजरी आई है अभी डॉक्टर साहब देख रहे हैं इनको डॉक्टर साहब देख रहे हैं बट फिर भी अवस्था इनकी ठीक है बचाया जा सकता है बचाया जा सकता है बचाया � their best they're doing their every bit to uh, keep uh, you know you know to make the situation uh, better on the ground in fact one of the person who was just rescued uh, from under the rubble he is uh, he has suffered some injuries on his leg there will be a surgery which will be conducted on him but as of now he is doing fine your family is here in the hospital then aile hastanede mi diyor evet hastanede şu an her family is in the hospital yeah. yeah are they are they okay right now Ailen okey, e, iyi mi diyor şu an? Abim e, şey şehit oldu sadece. Ha, aynen, his brother passed away. That's why they are so sad. I'm extremely sorry. His father has passed away. His brother passed away. Ha, brother passed away. Yes. So, you know this this uh, lady who is standing right behind me, she has lost her brother in the earthquake. Uh, and right now her entire family including her husband father and sister are admitted in the indian army hospital and i will show you the visuals on the ground once again this is the indian army hospital which has been set up in hatay province in iskenderun city and every day every hour people are being patients are being brought in here is a man who has just been brought in and the indian army is here they are trying their best to save as many lives as possible this is the indian army hospital and we are coming live from ground zero where the situation is extremely bad there are layers of devastation sir if i can uh, take you live he's uh, and left and gal yadavir singh left and yadavir singh is with is with us live so thank you for speaking to us and thank you for the work you are doing how many people have you been uh, able to save right as of now uh we have treated almost uh, 800 patients by now by uh, 800 patients yes so, 800 patients yes correct and and and by by you know till when uh, do you do you think the hospital has to be here in turkey uh we are uh, open minded we are ready to take on as long as is required our Thank re you. replenishment medicines are coming uh, dgms army is sending us the medicines continuously so tomorrow tomorrow also an aircraft is coming so we are ready to take on till uh, turkey needs us we'll be here so we really want to salute you our entire ndtv group and everybody from india i want to thank you for the work you are doing and he was the lieutenant commander and this is the indian army hospital where they are treating patients turkish people and trying to save as many lives but compared to turkey humanitarian aid has reached syria at a much slower pace as uh, these are provinces the provinces that were hit by the quake are between government controlled and opposition held areas sanctions on syria have also degraded their response systems it is delaying relief but in the midst of all this on saturday evening an indian air force c17 aircraft carrying 35 tons of relief material left for damascus in syria on board the second iaf c17 aircraft headed to damascus is about 35 tons of relief material of which over 23 are headed for uh, syria and this contains material like uh, sleeping mats gensets solar lamps tarpaulins blankets and medicines All right and now let's get you the news back home meanwhile with assembly polls round the corner prime minister modi has uh, uh, called the roll the bugle the political bugle for the elections he addressed two rallies today in this uh, small but critical state which is headed for the polls in a few days Massive turnout of BJP supporters in Tripura as the Prime Minister kick-started his campaign for the state elections. Tripura is the first among the nine states that will go to polls before the big 2024 general elections. In his twin rallies today, first at Kulai in Dhalai district 
and another 100 kilometers apart at Radha Kishorpur in Gomti district, Prime Minister Modi's speech, no votes to the left in Congress alliance, and the thrust on the double-engine government that delivered his famous Hira model for Tripura. Tripura ki pehchan pichhra pan nahi hai. Pahle Tripura mein, jivan ke har baat mein, ek shabda sunai deta tha. Chanda, kuch bhi ho, chanda. Paanch saal pahle, jam mein Tripura aya tha, to aap se hira, H-I-R-A. हीरा यानी हाईवे इंटरनेट रेलवे और एयरवे का वादा किया था त्रिपुरा के विकास को हाईवे इंटरनेट रेलवे और एयरवे से सशक्त करने के लिए भाजपा की डबल इंजन सरकार ने the good turnout at the Dhalai rally of Prime Minister Narendra Modi would give BJP confidence ahead of the Tripura elections. But in Dhalai, significantly, the Prime Minister was very measured in his tribal reach out in a region which is dominated by the tribals. By your Bahano, the Sakotak, Congress or Vam Patiwake Sasane. त्रिपुरा को विकास के हर पैमाने पर पीछे धकेल दिया था लेकिन डबल इंजन की सरकार सिर्फ पांच वर्षों में ही त्रिपुरा को तेज विकास की पटरी पर ले आई है सिग्निफिकेंट ट्राइबल विमेन प्रेजेंस वॉज सीन एट द धलाई रैली लिंक्ड द स्टेट्स कोविड रिस्पॉन्स टू पोल्स इतना ही नहीं भाइयों बहनों ये लेप वाले एक राज्य में राज करते हैं आप कोविड की इतनी भयंकर महामारी आई इतनी बड़ी बीमारी आई ज्यादा से ज्यादा बीमार होने वाले लोग उसी राज्य में थे अधिकतम लोगों को मरने की नौबत भी उनके ही राज्य में आई हमारा त्रिपुरा बच गया इतनी भयंकर बीमारी आने के बावजूद भी त्रिपुरा के नागरिक बच गए क्योंकि भाजपा की सरकार आपकी जिंदगी के लिए दिन रात मेहनत करने वाली सरकार है रैली वन थिंग दैट आई कुड ग्रस्प इज he was not in his mood he is off mood he has lost the rhythm because he has gathered all inputs from party inputs as well as central agency inputs and he knows that uh, bjp is in coming to power with the twin modi rallies the countdown to polling day has begun the bjp would like to believe they have taken an edge with ratnadeep choudhury and ankit tyagi saurabh gupta and the tv